Hi everyone, the Joy for Yogini here. So I was inspired to do a healing meditation to help to heal the masculine. And coming up to Father's Day, this is when I'm recording this on the Friday before Father's Day, that is the healing that is taking place over the weekend and especially on the Sunday. So I thought it was perfect timing to channel a meditation that will help us to all hear our, heal our masculine. Now, each and every one of us, it doesn't matter whether you have a penis or vagina, we all have masculine and feminine within us. And our, the masculine energy has been wounded. And it has been wounded in that the masculine has been told it's not okay to cry. Suck it up, buttercup, you know? Push those feelings down and just move forward. Be a man. And all of these are incorrect perceptions as to the way we should be behaving. So let's use this meditation, this healing, to help release all of those inaccurate perceptions of behavior to embrace both the masculine and feminine and to allow emotions to flow and not to be taking action so as to meet other people's expectations. You know, we need to embrace all those emotions, acknowledge those emotions and allow them to flow. And when we allow emotions to flow, it helps us to flow so much easier in life. Our body is mostly made up of water. And so we want our internal waters to flow, which will help us to not only flow through our days and flow more abundance and love into our life and, and also health, but it's also to ensure, well, there, I just said health and no but needed to be in that. <laughs> um, yeah, so in order for our health, to be abundant we need everything within us to flow we want our organs to function beautifully we want our circulation and our respiration to flow beautifully so this meditation is going to help to create more flow within our bodies and to help with the healing of that masculine energy so take the time right now to find a comfortable position. If you are seated, you can firmly plant both feet on the ground. If you can avoid crossing your legs during this or even crossing your ankles, that would be good. Just firmly plant your feet on the ground. Now, if you're on a bed and you prefer, or maybe on a couch and you prefer to be sitting or lounging and, or maybe even lying down, so do that. Go with however you are inspired to get comfy. So do that now. Find a comfy position for yourself. And start to breathe in and out through your nose. Now if breathing in and out through your nose is a problem, maybe you have sinus stuff going on, allergies, whatever it is, just find a breathing pattern that's going to work best for you at this time. So breathing in and breathing out. So for us to get deeper into a relaxation, a state where we can really dip into our parasympathetic nervous system, you can have your breath out last longer than your breath in. Maybe you wanna breathe in for the count of four and maybe your breath out will be for the count of six or even eight. Just see what feels comfortable for you at this time. I can help guide the breath in and the breath out, but go in your own beautiful timing. Breathing in. Breathing out.
Breathing in. Breathing out. Continue with your breath work. With every breath out, you can picture your body getting more and more relaxed. Feel it getting even heavy on the bed or the couch or the chair and just melting down into wherever you're seated or lying down. Find the enjoyment in this relaxation. You deserve this beautiful self-care. And take the time to congratulate yourself for carving out this special time for yourself, this healing time for you. Breathing in, breathing out. tuning in to that body of yours. Pay attention to see if there's any areas within your body that feel tight. And if there is any tightness anywhere, whatever this means to you, you can send some breath to those areas. And as you breathe out, picture the breath that you sent, opening things, lightening things, and helping that body part or that area of your body to fully relax. Breathing in, breathing out. Bring your attention right now between your hips to your second chakra. This is the center of your joy, of your creativity, of your masculinity, your femininity, your sexuality, your fertility. And this is where your sexiness resides. This is where your joy, your inner joy that when you connect with it amplifies the beauty of who you are that creative genius that is within you can picture a beautiful spinning wheel of orange energy opening and opening getting stronger and stronger. From there, bring your attention above your belly button to your solar plexus. This is the center of your confidence, of your courage, of your willpower. Feel that inner fire burning strong. This is where you stand in your power. You stand in your beliefs. You go after what you want to achieve. You can picture a spinning wheel of yellow energy or golden energy, building, growing, opening. Just feel that beautiful expansion in your solar plexus. So again, that is above your belly button and below your ribs. Feel that power. Now bring your attention to your heart. Your heart chakra is a beautiful spinning wheel of green energy. This is where you give 
you give to others, you give to your community, you give of your time. Feel this energy building, the beautiful expansiveness, healing those around you, sharing your love. Now the heart energy is also associated with the color pink, representing self-love. This is you giving you the care that you need, self-care. This is when you're listening to yourself and you're resting when you need to rest. You do something nice for you. You take that alone time. And this is where sometimes you say no to people because it doesn't feel right for you. It's not an alignment for you. And maybe it's, it would be an alignment for you on certain days, but on other days when things don't feel right to put that energy out there, you need to honor yourself and you can speak your truth and set your boundaries in a way where you will be heard and you will be respected and you will be honored. And sometimes if you haven't been speaking your truth and setting your boundaries, there can be a disruption in communication and relationships when you start to stand your ground and honor yourself. But things will shift and evolve. So trust in the evolution as you step into your power, which is coming from that solar plexus. And when you speak from your heart, and honor yourself. Now we're going to focus on that pink heart energy, that self care. Allow that to grow and expand. And now bring your, bring your attention to your throat chakra, which is a beautiful color turquoise. This is where you speak your truth. This is where you use your voice, the vibration of your voice to step into your power, speaking your truth and speaking from the heart. And just below your, th your throat chakra and above your heart, we have your thyroid. And the energy there is a beautiful combination of the green of the heart and the turquoise of the throat. And this energy here, this is a beautiful energy center connecting the heart with the throat and you can visualize that energy growing. The more you learn to connect in with your heart and honor yourself and use your throat chakra to speak your truth, the more you are embracing all that you are. The perfection of you is all of you. The perfection of you is even when you get scared, even when you get sad, you wanna cry. It's the perfection of you who has that compassion and that heart that aches sometimes. It's even when you feel less than, you don't feel good enough, you don't feel worthy. All of that is still the perfection, the beauty of who you are. It's all a part of our journey, our lessons. And all of that combined with your inner strength, your power, your confidence, your courage, 
your sexiness, your creativity, your joy, the combination of all of that is the beauty of who you are. And it's time to embrace all of that. Let's bring our attention to our root chakra. So you can bring your attention either to your perineum, to the base of your tailbone, to the bottoms of your feet, your legs, or even an extension of your root chakra. So bring your attention to the lower part of your body and you can picture a beautiful spinning wheel of red energy. You may want to picture roots coming out from the bottoms of your feet down into the core of Mother Earth and intertwining with the beautiful crystal at the core of Mother Earth. And within this crystal, we have beautiful healing energy. Think about all of the crystals that are located within Mother Earth, all the various vibrations and the healing properties of these crystals. Think about the different types of soil, all of the rocks, the vegetation, the roots from all of the various vegetation that grows all around the world. The world is full of this beautiful healing energy. And we're going to ask for the perfect combination of vibrational healing energy to come from Mother Earth up through our roots, up our feet, our ankles, our legs. So coming up and across our thighs and between our hips and traveling up the belly and back and chest and throat and down the shoulders and down the arms, coming out the fingertips and also coming up the throat and passing through the ears and the nose and the cheeks and the eyes and the forehead and even coming out through the crown. But it is a constant stream of energy. It's not just leaving your body. We have a beautiful stream coming out through our crown and intertwining with beautiful source energy, which is the beautiful combination of energy of all of us. It's the collective energy that contains the collective knowledge of all of our lifetimes and all of the beautiful learnings that each of us has have had. So the beautiful healing energy and knowledge that is within that is now streaming down through your crown, going over and under and through your forehead, your ears, your cheeks, your nose, your lips, your chin, your throat, your shoulders down your arms and out your fingertips, from your throat and shoulders coming down your chest, through your belly, passing through your back, going down to your hips, through your thighs, your knees, your shins, your ankles, your feet, and going directly through your roots and into the core of Mother Earth and intertwining with Mother Earth energy. So Mother Earth energy is also having a beautiful healing with source energy as source is having a beautiful healing and amplifying of Mother Earth energy that is spreading across the collective. Take a deep breath in and a breath out. The next time you breathe out, breathe out through your mouth and feel this energy expanding and amplifying throughout your body and also beaming off of your body, filling 
the location of where you are at, feeling your community, feeling the province or state or country, feel, going all around the world. Take a deep breath in and breathe out through your mouth. I am now picturing a beautiful pink energy radiating from your heart and expanding all across your body. It's radiating outward, filling the room in which you're in, filling the whole house or apartment or wherever you're located, going throughout the town or city, going across the state, the province, the country all around the world, this beautiful pink healing energy, which is healing the masculine. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel the power of both your masculine and your feminine energy in beautiful balance. The beautiful balance of the perfection of who you are, who is always evolving, learning, growing, healing, and sharing the love within you to all that surrounds you. Breathing in, breathing out. Feel your body right now in space. Feel how your body is in connection with either the chair or your bed or your couch the floor, the yoga mat. Feel your body touching whatever elements it is touching. Feel Mother Earth energy radiating up into your body. Start to deepen your breath. You can start to bring some movement into your fingers and toes by wiggling them. Take a nice, deep, cleansing breath in. A big cleansing breath, maybe with a sigh out through your mouth. And whenever you're ready, in your own beautiful timing, you can either open your eyes, or if you want to stay in this place, by all means. So whatever feels best for you, I'm going to open my eyes, and I'm going to take a deep breath in, and a breath out. acclimatize to your eyes open if that's the state in which you are in. I'm going to take another deep breath in and another breath out through my mouth. Thank you so much for joining me through this meditation. If you'd like, whenever you're inspired, you can check out my website, thejoyfulyogini.ca. If you are ever interested and inspired in a one-on-one -on -one channeled reading or healing session, you can go to my website, thejoyfulyogini.ca, and you can send me a message and we can schedule something together. 
or feel free to join one of my yoga classes. From my light to your beautiful, amazing light, namaste. Remember the beauty and perfection of all that you are. Have a wonderful rest of your day.